Hello people, Shaka's here. Make here another tutorial. And guess what we're doing it on? No, it's not something crappy. It's something a bit more advanced. You know. You know. No, actually I have no idea why is my um my mouth is flashing. It's having a seizure. No biggie. So pretty much what we're doing today is physics. I must warn you. I am you have to have Game Maker Studio. Sorry. You can get the free version of the professional one. Yeah, because I'm a boss. Never mind. Completely off subject. So pretty much, we're just going to have pretty much what we're going to learn is uh, how to use it, what it means, stuff. So pretty much, first of all, create a sprite. Can be anything. I just like SPR, whatever. Let's do sprite block and let's do sprite hmm. df for deformed it's cuz actually I'm just gonna show you <clears throat> they edit the engine ran I'm gonna have to show you so deformed pretty much 32 by 32 pretty decent make something really deformed You don't have to do anything. This is just demo. Okay, no, never mind. Yeah, it's a demo. It's, a, it's not really a tutorial. It's more of a demo. So let's do something a bit messed up like this. That's pretty good. And then we'll have a simple box that we all know what how to do. You guys can. I'm gonna make another tutorial on spread editing. I'm guessing. I'm not sure when, but. I'm gonna center these just for usability. It's not even gonna work. I think no more. It's because if you don't press OK, this one thing I really don't like about Game Maker Studio, it only saves the name if you press OK. So if I do no, nah, I'm just doing it real quick. So if I do whatever inside it, like blah 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 blah. blah and I don't do anything, look, it's not automatic. You have to press E, uh, pfft. wow, to press OK. I'm just gonna delete that. Then we're gonna, we're gonna do that later. Then we're gonna have to create a new object. Oh, you don't have to put O. Oh. You can do O, oh, whatever, or just whatever, but I don't recommend that because you might use a few variables. Might do a new tutorial of that. I just always use this. So we're going to set the sprite to block, pretty basic. And the second we're going to do, oh yeah, see, look, then save, press OK. O underscore DF. DF. And now we're just going to start with block, because that's a lot more simpler. So first, how do we put physics? So if I just make a room, it's already taken. Oh yeah, that's right. So if I just do that. And put a block in, and I run it. You're gonna see what's in the record. Nothing's happening. Why is this happening? Well, pretty much, you didn't set anything. Like, there's no variables. There's no events. There's no nothing. You just plain nothing. How does this work? We'll check. Use this physics like a boss. It opens up this other tab, and in here you. First things first. I'll talk about this few seconds but first you have to press there modify collision shape pretty much it's a big deal <laughs> no I like it better like this yeah so what is this well pretty much the way that I say it is a collision box but for physics what you'll see what I mean pretty much it's like what's solid. So if I just did this, if I collide, if something else collided with that at that specific point right here, I was trying to point my screen. But if it hit here, it would just stop. It's not like the other ones because I really like this for collisions because I'm just going to spread it out and press OK. You can also change if you don't like the snap, but you want to make something a bit smaller. Yeah, even smaller. Wow, that's precise. 
that's no big deal. So, what the heck was I going to talk about? Never mind, I'll think of it later. So pretty much next, we're going to have to go with these things. What is it? Oh yeah, collisions. <sighs> collisions in physics and collisions in the collision box are different. Collision box is for checking. The, ph the physics collision box is actually for colliding. This just means that if it goes into this area selected, so in this case it would just be the square, then you could do whatever, and then that would be the traditional way of stopping or something. But now this is actually like, there's an entire engine, it's insane. If I, if I want, I can just reference, oh yeah, very helpful. This little button there, very, very helpful. Show help on Game Maker, I'm not kidding. He's in Game Maker, install introduction, drop down menus, events, everything, advanced use references then you have particles physics and then you go fixtures forces joints various it's, it's insane what you can do with physics so you're gonna the, I'm pretty like basic with physics but anyway I'm going off track pretty much these things what do they mean friction basically how much it slow down how much is it affected by air pretty much easiest way to do it so if you did something higher it'd be tougher to move but if you did something lower like oh that's max like this it'd be like like extremely fast more leave it like 0 0.2 what it was right now density um weight guessing you probably knew that restitution bounciness pretty much collision group this I don't really use that much, but I might as well just tell tell it anyway. But collision group, if they're in the same, if two objects that have physics are in the same collision group, then they will collide. If they're different, like this is collision three, and that's O one score D F is O oh, D F is I always do O score. It'd be zero, then they wouldn't collide. I can I can say it's pretty it's actually pretty handy at some times. Yeah, linear damping. It's a bit like friction, I guess say. But linear is only for like moving. Oh god, it's hard to explain. Linear damping. The friction, okay. The friction is kind of to movement in general. Linear is mostly for moving and angular is for rotating. So if you did something, if I believe higher, it'd be tougher for... I will let's just do it real quick. I'm going to test that later. But pretty much, I'm mean, going to have to figure out those later, but... Why not? Hmm. Let me have to check that out, and I might say it another one, because... Yeah, never mind. So, kinetic, I'm not sure what that is, but... Sensor, either. Start awake. Pretty much. It starts out. Does it get affected? Then you can go and... Events, and... Yeah. You know, the physics slash set awake, I'm not sure. That's... I can remember but pretty much if I do this and then if I want to use physics for this now this is where it gets a bit different so I'm just gonna do a shape because this this circle pretty much straightforward do this you do a circle a box is only boxes shape is a lot cooler I use this like all the time I'm just gonna zoom this and move oh yeah to move around left click to add hold one move around and hold middle to move around like sh drag and there you go that's what I was trying to figure out not sure why it does that <sighs> seizure bird like top left but oh well so let's say 
you want to say you make this slightly smaller so I can get very precise see look badass if you said you want to do something like this maybe it is the worst example ever but I'm a boss so it doesn't matter if you said you want to do something like this a lot of people would say that's easy of course you can actually no you can't because you cannot have concave forms you can only have convex convex is hmm. I have really have no idea what the heck that is okay concave is when the angle is less than 170 best way to describe it and convex is you know if it's a dent you're okay if it's no if it's a bump you're okay if it's a dent you're screwed that made no sense whatsoever but pretty much that you can't use that so if I go and do that well, not a convex shape. Yeah. Please adjust points. And then if I do something like this, I believe is okay. Nope, slightly too much. But if I did something like this, it'd be okay. See? What the heck? You are messed up, young boy. You're not young, nor are you a boy. And nor am I smart. <laughs> what? So yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty much everything here. Kinetic blah blah blah, but now oh cool it's already physics. All right. All I'm gonna do I'm just gonna create a quick little floor. This is my turnout. It's a bit longer. This is going to get a slightly longer tutorial, which I don't like though. I really don't like. Um, do this pure floor. I'm not gonna center that. It's because I'm not gonna move it. The other one's the floor. Oh no! A cool thing. A thing that you can do is if you don't want to move whatsoever. Zero, 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 zero. Cool. And I'm gonna have to edit this box like that. Then we're just gonna press OK. Go into our room. Oh, I'm already in room. That was freaking useless. Now oh, that's why. That's a problem. Okay, if you can't see it now, now you can. Like a boss. So if I said I want to do something like this, well, I'm saying this so many times. This, this, this. So, okay, that looks pretty much good. You could say, oh look, I just want to do something like this. Oh, cool. It works perfectly. It doesn't at all. Why? Because this tab right here. Physics. What the heck? What does this have to do? So, if we actually run it, you'll see something unexpected. You can tell what's unexpected already. They're not moving. So, if you wanted them to make them move, Rumors Physics World. It's because it's basically using a completely different engine than the actual um, uh, gimmick or engine for moving around. So, gravity. That's basically saying how much is gravity. Gravity is about here. You could literally make it negative that and it'll just all fall upward. But. You could mess with that. Pixels to meters, how much is a meter? Oh yes. One big difference in normal game maker and the and physics game uh, engine that they use is the the engine is actually called a box two D. B O X two D engine. Box two D physics engine, never. But they don't use pixels, like you would usually do, and everything else in normal Game Maker that you used to. But 
this has caused a lot of problems. So here you can set how many pixels are actually meters. So that's really helpful. So if we did this and we just ran that, I can hear my dad calling. Oh look, doesn't that look cool? But look, it doesn't actually hit anything. <gasps> Why? <sighs> Obviously. So you just have to add collisions. I'm just gonna add this. And pretty much I could just do this and it would work fine, but the way the game maker does it is pretty much if there's an event and there isn't any actions connected to it, it would just delete itself to save space. So we could just put something like a comment, something that's really like, yeah. So collision with that, collision with floor. I'm telling you, I'm doing like, I'm sure there are some more efficient ways of doing it, but for the purpose purpose of this tutorial it's not a big deal you can skip on you can skip on you can skip on right now so I don't have to change on the floor did I just press save yes I did that was useless so now I have to add the floor because it's not moving. So check this out. Look at that. So beautiful. Look. You can't say that does not look awesome. Oh, that is so perfect. So if you want, you can go. Let's have some fun. So if we want, we could just put the physics to be slightly higher. And uh, we could put the opposite way. So if you run it like this, you could tell what would happen right now. So you can mess around with that, and you could do different stuff. Zach is creeping out because he's right beside me. <laughs> so you could also change how strong the gravity is by changing this. So you could change it, I'm just going to delete this, to 50. That would um, be insane. Look at, wow, <laughs> that's pretty hilarious. So just to show you the true potential, the true awesomeness, I'm just going to add some deformed shapes all over the place. <clears throat> I'm telling you, this is going to look amazing. Doesn't that look awesome? Wait, I'm just going to slow this down a bit. S slightly too much. Can you do that? Doesn't that look awesome? Come on! So if you could, you could add impulses, rotations, uh, ragdolls, stuff like that. I'm not kidding, that's so awesome. So yeah, this is pretty much the basics. Check out his hair. Bye!